remove some of this deadfall. This is the deadfall tree that fell on the creek. Get out of here, these two branches. So I have room to work. All right, guys, now we got room to work. Folks, welcome back to another episode of Fox River Bushcraft. I'm Jonathan Aguirre, and today we're back in the woods here at a small creek to remove a beaver dam. Stick around. All right, folks, so we're here at this small creek to remove this beaver dam. So let's take a look at what's going on over here. This is all deadfall. This must have happened during the storm. A huge tree fell right here and right here. And I think these beavers took advantage of it down, down over here. Let's take a look at what's going on. So I'm back here with a silky saw because I'm going to have to remove some of these branches. I got my silky saw right here. And uh, look at this. All clogged up right here. There's a, I think this tree is actually live. It's just growing at this angle. So uh, there's blockage. The tree's hovering above the creek. And there's all this blockage right here. So most of the water is either going off to the side right here, or it's going through this little tiny hole through the middle. So we're gonna try our best to get this all cleaned up and uh, let's get started. There's always trash in the creek, look at this. Oh, that's probably filled with oil. Oh, it is. That's so bad. I can feel it. I can tell too, cause there's a cap on it. See the cap right there? And then it's plugged off right here. This thing's probably filled with oil. Oh, that's so bad. Oh yeah, it's heavy too. I can tell that's not water in there. That's oil. So we're gonna get that uh, taken out of here, way out of here. Probably take it up somewhere over there. Oh man, it's really heavy too. Probably won't be able to clean it, um, take it up out of here because I had a journey getting back here. But. We will definitely get this away from the creek where the water's flowing. Good thing it didn't burst open into the waterways. All right, guys, I'm going to get this moving. and we'll get started here. All right, guys, now we got room to work. All right, guys, I just removed these uh, tree branches with the silky saw. So now we have all this area to work in right here. So before this, these trees were going this way, they were going that way. Now we got a good amount of room. I'm gonna uh, put you guys on the back side of the dam so you guys can see all the water come through after we remove all this material. So uh, let's take a walk to the back of the dam. This uh, water table is actually a lot higher back here. I'll show you, uh, if you notice right now, the water level. A little bit high, but if you look over the dam, it drops down about two feet, a foot and a half, two feet. But let's go take a look. I'll set the camera up back there so you guys can see all the water come through. And I'll be working behind the dam. All right, guys, we're here at the other side of the creek. Yeah, it's such a beautiful little creek. The water's so clear. Sand, little pebbles. So cool. Not afraid about going barefoot in here. I'm going barefoot today. It's just sand and pebbles and stuff. Might have to watch out for the snapping turtles like always, but we're right here at the back of the dam, guys. Or should I say the front of the dam. So look at all that blockage underneath that tree right there. And the water table's a lot higher back behind it. So I'm gonna set up the camera somewhere right back here so you guys can see all the water coming through. So uh, let's get started, guys. All right, guys, we're back in the front of the dam, or behind the dam. And uh, got all this material to remove right here. So 
So let's get started. Alright guys, I just removed this giant one that was in here, covered with mud and sticks and everything. So we're going to get this pushed up onto land over here. But look at the flow we have already coming through here. This wasn't coming through here earlier. Some more water coming down this way. There's a little bit more material right here that we have to remove. And they should all be flowing right there's still a good drop down right here about a foot and a half two feet so i'm standing on top of the dam right now so 
beautiful little creek. Let's keep going, guys. Look at all this current now, guys. After I removed those bigger logs and all that mud, a bunch of smaller sticks, it just, the dam just broke right through. I'm sure you guys will be able to notice it on the other camera. Look at this current. If you notice from the beginning of the video, it wasn't like this. Now look at all the water going past my leg. Look at the sand bank. It's starting to break off because of all this buildup from the beavers stacking everything over here. Now it's all starting to flow right. This current is so strong now. 
we're gonna remove a little bit more material and then uh, I'll be right back with you. This is all starting to erode away right here from all the current going through back to its natural uh, flow. The sand uh, starting to drop off like I said earlier. Look how deep I am now. This is how it's supposed to be guys. Let's go take a look from the other side. Oh, I could tell down a stream. Got a lot deeper. Let's go take a look. Remember earlier in the video, guys, when this was uh, all clear? Now from all that mud going through and everything, it's gonna stay murky for a little bit until it starts flowing right, it'll clear up. Look how much deeper it is though. Look at that log earlier is underwater. Oh yeah. Yeah, this whole little island that was here is underwater. Look at now. Remember from the beginning? Look at that clean gap now for the water to flow right. Uh, there's nothing I could do about this tree. It's still alive. I'm not going to bother it. It's still growing. It still has leaves and everything up here. So we're going to leave it be. But at least uh, we got the beaver's dam out of there. They took advantage of this tree that grew across the creek. Thought they could slow down water. But uh, we busted them today, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, a lot deeper over here. So cool, so satisfying. I can't wait to watch the video from this end after I edit it and everything. Look at that, over there. The water was up there before. Drop back, what is that? Maybe a foot and a half, two feet? So cool. Love Creek Adventures. <laughs> so cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna get my gear packed up and uh, I'll be right with you. folks that's it for today's video we did the right thing today got the beaver dam out of here everything's flowing right so uh we did a good job so i need you guys to do me a favor hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up so we can get into the youtube algorithm so other people can find this video and enjoy it as you have till next week johnny out all right folks if you made it to the end of the video good for you so we're actually doing a one-of-a-kind Fox River Bushcraft t-shirt giveaway. One of, its, one of its kind. No one else has these. I don't have a merch line. Maybe one day in the future we will. So I ordered a couple of these. They gave me one extra, the company, to give away. So uh, here it is right here. 
Got the logo on there. Beautifully printed logo, Fox River Bushcraft on a navy blue shirt. Light navy light blue shirt. Extra large, made by a great company. So uh, if you guys want a chance to win, all you got to do is leave a comment below saying new t-shirt, Fox River Bushcraft. And uh, I'll let it run for about a week. And in my next episode, I will... Uh, and we'll tell who the winner is. We'll pick who the winner is and uh, I'll let you guys know. But here it is. Brand new uh, merch. Yeah, guys, maybe one day in the future we'll be able to have a merch line so I can share this with everybody. But this is exclusive. I'm the only one that has it. And whoever win, wins will uh, we'll have the exclusive t-shirt by Fox River Bushcraft. The very first uh, piece of merch out for people. So... Like I said, leave the comment below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Johnny out.